Hi guys, how are you? Today I'm going to do a best of 2013 video. I know it's a little late, we're getting towards the mid-January, but I still wanted to do this video so you guys can share with me some of the favorites that I absolutely adored last year and still to this date. So I'm going to start with primer and this is a primer that I've been pretty obsessed with for the last like 10 months and it's Hourglass Veil Mineral um, Mineral Primer. It's a highly talked about, raved about kind of item so you probably know what it is but it's from Hourglass so it's a little bit pricey but it's totally worth the price. Uh, it's oil free so it's great for oily skin or combination with very oily T-zone people so which is perfect for me. Uh, it's not thick, it's very light, but it still does a great job in mattifying your skin. It applies on really velvety, really soft. Uh, it's somewhat like Benefit's Poreless, but a lot better. Uh, the thing I don't like about Benefit's Poreless is that it's, it kind of applies thick on me, so it, it, it leaves residues, like it creates that grime on my skin, which is totally unpleasant. But this baby, it's never failed on me. It doesn't leave any grimes or residues or any kind of nasty stuff on your skin. So it's a great um, primer for your any kind of makeup, so absolutely love it. Moving on to concealer, I have two items and for my under eyes, I really love this Surprise Essence Concealer from my Treat House. I'm in number one light beige. It's looking just like a regular lip gloss, like that. The thing I really like about it is that it doesn't budge, it doesn't wrinkle or crack under your eyes. Luckily, I don't have like a major dark circle under my eyes, so this does the job for me. Uh, it's definitely for a natural, everyday kind of concealer. If you're going for like a Kim Kardashian or like a full coverage uh, under eye, this won't be, you know, enough. But for a daily, you know, basis kind of... Um, brightening up under eyes. This is great. And also I have some redness and breakouts going on on my cheeks. So for that purpose, I use this Malovilt Camouf Camouflage Cream. Uh, it's like, it's a little greenish concealer, so it's perfect for covering that redness. And it's a bit uh, thicker consistency, so it doesn't go anywhere. It just sits there like for 24 hours, seriously. So, for my redness, I go for this, and for my under eyes, this, just perfect. For foundation, I have this Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, which is perfect for mixing purpose. Uh, I think that people's skin tone is so different and so subtly different. Makeup brands cannot cater to everybody's skin tone, so you have to make your own. You have to find the perfect shade for your own skin. So for that purpose, I always uh, mix foundation, this and that, and this and that. So this is this does a great job in mixing everything. Like if other foundations were a party, this will be a DJ. It brings everybody together, have them mingle really nicely so that, you know, they can end up spending the night together. <laughs> so this, you know, you know what I mean. This is a perfect for that, you know, mixing purpose. So I highly recommend it to anybody uh, who mix foundation a lot. Alright, next I have a uh, setting powder and it's just good old MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural and I'm in shade number, um, not number, it's in uh, Light Plus. Sometimes I use medium or, um, I, I mean I switch shades a lot. If I get tan, then I go for a darker shade but for the uh, moment I use this you know, Light Plus. I think um, Max powders are very finely milled um, so that it really, you know, uh, sits on your skin. Um, compared to some of the uh, other powders, I feel like this one's got a really small, you know, particles so that when applied with a brush, it creates a really, really flawless um, makeup look. Eyes, I have this one single eyeshadow and a palette. And for the palette, I love this Naked 2 eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. I had Naked 1, but I didn't really care for the colors there, so I sold it. But I really love the Naked 2 here. So I already hit pen on Booty Call and Suspect. 
Uh, and I think I'll be soon hitting pan on Verb and YDK. These colors are kind of shimmery, so it's really pretty when mixed together with matte colors. But even uh, with its own, like colors like Snake Bite, Suspect, and Y Decay, it's just you know beautiful on its own. So if you feel like you're not you know skillful enough to mix eyeshadows together, just you know paint one of these colors on your eyelids and then just you know diffuse it with a uh, roundy brush and it's just pretty. So for single eyeshadow, I absolutely love this Omega single eyeshadow from MAC. This is great for transitioning and diffusing color. So if you love um, heavy eyeshadows or smoky looks, this is a staple for you. Um, I think this is kind of a shade that you cannot find dupes for. Like I tried to find um, similar colors from like drugstores, but I couldn't find any. So if you do know any shades that are similar to Omega, please let me know in the down below. I cannot talk about makeup without talking about BB cream. So I have these two favorites. Um, that I liked in 2013. This will be like the se uh, first half of the year favorite and this will be the second half of the year. Uh, for Leo Alley's BB Cream, I liked the consistency a lot. It's a medium consistency. So it's um, when applied on your skin, it feels really kind of tightening, which feels really good. It's not drying. Uh, it's just kind of tightening, I feel like. So uh, in times, I feel like my skin is kind of dry. I like to mix it with this, you know, <laughs> Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. And this makes a perfect combo. So I really love uh, Leo Ellis BB Cream. And I also, I think I talked about it in my previous favorite videos, but this is, to me, is like a movie star BB cream uh, because it applies on really really amazingly also it provides a great coverage although it's not a thick consistency so there has to be some kind of secret formula that Misha uses which I have no idea but it's just perfect so you have to try uh, to really see what it does for blush I really enjoyed using this Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Stereo Rose. It was in one of the uh, limited collections, so it's not available at the MAC counter right now, but you can absolutely uh, get it at eBay or your CCO, so go check it out. I think uh, eBay definitely has it because, I mean, they have everything except human beings. So, uh, it's a little rosish kind of peachy color, which is perfect for a natural, glowing kind of look. It's not overpowering. Uh, it's not like right there kind of blush. It really blends in nicely. So I always, always reach for it for my everyday makeup. Uh, also, if you want to play it up a little, say like you're going to a party, then mix it with like a bronzer and just apply it on the backs of your uh, cheekbones. Then like so sexy. It's just like a uh, very versatile blush, I feel like. For mascaras, I have these two babies that I absolutely Absolutely adore. Uh, this is YSL's Shocking Mascara and this is Max Extended Play Giga Black Lash from the Riri collection. I cannot pronounce that word Riri like this. Like I have to do Riri. <laughs> For some reason I'm like weird like that. Okay, so this is just a magical, it's just amazing. I mean, words cannot explain how amazing this mascara is. Just it instantly uh, makes your lashes go from non to like Kim Kardashian. Even for my natural everyday makeup, I always, always use this YSL. And uh, for my lower lashes, I use this, you know, uh, this pink mascara from the Riri collection. Uh, it's got those the smallest, the most like subtle um, skinny bristle here. So it really gets into every uh, hair that you have on your lashes. So this is great for separating your lower lashes. So these together, like invincible. Next bronzer, I have this Revlon's Photo Ready Bronzer, which I very much enjoyed using uh, last year. And uh, it doesn't have a shade number because it's just this one bronzer. It's already got these four shades, which I feel like anybody can benefit from these, uh, one of those four shades. It's got uh, light, kind of light 
orangish kind of brown to like a very muddy dark brown and also the thing I really like about it is that it doesn't have a shimmer whatsoever it doesn't have any flex nothing like that it's a matte bronzer so if you are up for a matte bronzer this is a great uh, product for you uh, because it's very affordable I mean it's from Revlon it's very affordable and it performs very uh, nicely and I think I'm gonna need another like a couple of years to uh, you know hit pan on this bronzer so yeah lastly taking your makeup off is as important or even more important than putting them on so I have these two cleansers here here this is Bioderma's cleansing water uh, it's water-based it says H2O right there uh, therefore very gentle so a lot of times when I am removing eye makeup off my eyelids uh, the eye makeup remover gets into my eyes a lot and that really irritates my eyes but Bioderma doesn't irritate my eyes so I really love that gentleness the only thing is that it's very expensive just for this um, 250 ml bottle it was like um, uh, it went over to twenty dollars, like twenty five thousand Korean won. So that's the only downside. But other than that, I really love this cleanser. So now I have this cleanser from Skin Food. It says Milkshake Point Makeup Remover. If like Bioderma was like a government, like a government police or whatever, this will be a private investigator. This does that this doesn't allow to do so like uh, you have the thickest the most darkest eyeshadows or pencils or gel eyeliner gel eyeliners on your eyes and you may think like no eye makeup remover will ever get rid of that this will this takes away everything like it's just amazing like the only difference is that this one isn't expensive whereas private investigator the real one is very expensive so I absolutely love this every time I wear really heavy smoky makeup uh, look I always reach for this for you know cleansing and uh, yeah it's just awesome uh, and it's in this really cute uh, ketchup-ish bottle and the content is in like milkish uh, color it's just so cute and adorable so that's all my favorites of 2013 hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up because that really really makes my day every single one of you always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye